Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This is part 2 of the full walkthrough in the Doram Kingdom patch. Alright, let's get started. After clearing the Islud and Morok hidden quest, you should now have the following trinkets. The Malangdo Island quest needs a Doram race to trigger. The first quest can be triggered during night time. The second quest needs a seaweed buff from using the onigiri seaweed item. The third quest needs a drifting bottle from Prefort and can be triggered during thunderstorm. You also need the following items to complete the quest. Malangdo flower dye, farfly jar, and copper bell. The fourth quest needs the Harbelly Medal from the Strange Shop. The Pith quest can be triggered during the day. The sixth quest can be triggered by just walking near the fishing caravan members. And the last quest can be triggered during night.
the Ocean Flower Island quest needs a dorm race to trigger. The first quest needs a whistle that you can purchase from the strange shop. The second quest needs the quirky seaweed that you can acquire from completing the first quest. The third quest has a small chance to trigger when you are passing near the bonfire. The fourth quest can be triggered during the night. The fifth quest needs a frog tears that you can pick up near the pond. You also need the hoed curry, old nut, and the duck toy. The sixth quest can be triggered by riding the flying whale. The seventh quest needs the boring boring buff and can be triggered during thunderstorm. The Free Fort Island quest mainly need the dorm race to trigger, aside from the wondrous rendezvous that you can also trigger as a Norman race. 
The first quest can be triggered during sunset. The second quest can be triggered by walking near the side of the trading hall. The third quest needs the Salmon X, level 4 affinity to Paul Platt, and can be triggered during Sunny Day. The fourth quest needs the Sailor Kerchief from the Toad Part 1 quest and can be triggered during Sunny Day. The fifth quest can be triggered when you walk in the trading hall entrance. And the sixth quest need the Ghost Lantern, the Flustered Buff, level 4 affinity to Nala, and can be triggered during nighttime. Alright, that's it for the video. Please help me out by clicking the like button. Also, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching.